That was weird. Uh, 106. I don't really care about all your slates. These guys are very mature. Alright, that's. You got the same poster! This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Can we not take that down? Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. I can have a little fun with Warren for a change. I mean, he tries so hard and I blew off his drive-in offer. Am I overthinking this? What did I write? Oh no. No, 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 no. Go to hell, Warren. I do feel like I should be able to take that down, though. It's not very nice. This can only be Nathan's room. Projector. How fancy. Now I need to find Nathan's phone or anything with clues. There. Holy crap, wall of text going on here. The biggest wall of text ever. So cute and ironic. I can't Best believe Nathan still has it around. That is really weird. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Bastard. God damn it, Joyce. Oh. If I hadn't a, I killed those birds. I murdered them. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but. Once again, the Prescott's rule. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Oh man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Hmm. Odd art. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. He's got a lot of DVDs and stuff. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. Well, at least he read the safety from... manual. A gift from what? Was Holy there a second shit. page? That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Oh, man. That dickhead stole one of my selfies. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Everyone does, and a dark side. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but... The guy has his own style. I like it. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. 
Alright, so what are we even here for? Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Remember, mm. you're on enemy turf now, Max. That is so Chloe. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Hmm. I really hope they were all consenting models. Yeah, kind of getting the feeling. Max. Probably not. You're in the belly of the beast. Search everywhere. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? It's pretty clearly from the couch. Scooch the couch. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Right, that's now probably I good enough. Phone so I can show it to Chloe. Cool. Now it's open. Alright. Let's G they're on the wrong way. Let's GTFO Chloe. Why is there toilet paper in the hall? Slobs. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Uh-oh. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. It's one of the football Max, bros gonna stand. Oh, this. Warren. Get the fuck out of my face. Whoa, Warren. <gasps> You are so fucking dead! Uh oh. Get off me, bra! Uh -oh. <laughs> bra? Really? Uh... Warren, Warren, stop gonna... it! Come on! He's got a gun. Oh, oh my head! Could somebody secure Why the gun, please? Why are you looking please? at me like that, huh? You and yeah, you, you're don't all bother. dead! Let's go, now! Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. No idea why nobody secured Even that if gun. Nathan definitely deserved a beating. We should try to be better than that. I agree. Still should have taken his gun, though. That seems kind of insane, but... Very lucky he didn't shoot everybody. Damn. That was intense. Warren, uh... Thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um, Warren, me and Scram. Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. I sort of feel kind of bad for Warren at this point. Like, he's just doing the nice guy Man, thing and... so fucking in love with you. Mm-hmm. I know. He really Been there myself too many times. Me. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Yeah, I definitely do feel a little bad for Warren at this point. 
the whole nice guy doing whatever for a girl that he likes. A little too familiar. I'm sure we've all been there. Guys, at least. Girls do it in a different way, I suppose. But Alright, we probably should blow up the whales at this point, because they're getting pretty gross. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. You know what would be great? If I still had a gun. Yes, Could've the chance Nathan's for gunplay gun would just about even the odds here. Frank would scare better. He's a pussy. Besides, if I take him out, you can just rewind. Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. After Kate, I feel like every time I do, it might be the last. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grow up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. It's actually kind of baffling to me that they haven't referenced the uh, the whale explosion video. They they talked about pals and stuff. Like they know about things that are here. I'm surprised they haven't referenced the forest that. Forest seemed quiet. No sign of life or deer. Now obviously there is a photo here somewhere because I there saw the whale tail thing. There may not be estates by Saturday. Well, they don't know that. Well. How can all of this not be connected to a major storm? It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Well. Such is life of time travel. Garbage. Whatever. Let's do this thing. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard, now was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Alright, we gotta take away his money Jesus. and... It's okay. okay. Oh? But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? I'm surprised the that nobody made the Nancy Drew clients. thing. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, 
We didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog is... And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. <laughs> That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now, especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? This uh, has all been very... Uh, the dialogue here has been very weird and time-consuming.